I'm Nisha and I'm Celeste and welcome to Hike, Hike It by, by the, the River. River created by Artbeats in collaboration with the National Arts Council. Hike It by the River is a series showcasing art and culture along the Singapore River inspired by the Singapore story. Journey with us as we uncover the stories behind the pieces. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Let's, Let's go. go. Today, we are going to be looking at realistic sculptures that tell a story of how life used to be by the river. This artwork is called First Generation by artist Chong Fa Chong. It is called First Generation because these kids were born in Singapore and their parents were likely from another country. This sculpture shows what life was like in the early days when you just jump into the river and swim. Where do you swim? In the olden days, the kids would just jump into the river. Nowadays, you will be wearing swimming costumes. The Singapore River was a lifeline of our country in the past, when the first migrant communities settled around here. It was not an uncommon sight to see boys swinging from trees beside the river and jumping into the water. The river didn't always look as clean as it is today though. The river used to be very polluted and filled with lots of garbage. The boys kept their heads above the water and learned how to avoid the dangers of the bump boats crossing the river. From 1977 to 1987, the Clean River Project was launched by the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew and it took 10 years to clean up the river. With the cleanup, sites like these swimming boys were gone as many families, hawkers and bambooks were removed from the area. This sculpture is made and put here to remind us what life used to be like around here. This is site-specific art installation to record the past. This artwork is made of bronze and can withstand rain and sun. Look! There's another sculpture! Let's go over and see what we can discover. What do you see? This sculpture is called The River Merchants by artist Al T. Hong. It shows three men talking together. What do you think? Are they friends? When we look closer, we notice the man sitting down is the prominent Scottish merchant of the early days, Alexander Laurie Johnston, negotiating with a Chinese trader and a Malay chief. Johnston set up his company at a current spot known as Tanjong Taka which is the present-day Maybank Tower in 1820. What does Tanjong Takak mean? It means to catch in Malay because his godang was the nearest to the mouth of the Singapore River and he would be the first to catch the merchant captains as their boats enter the river. Tanjong Takak lasted until 1848 and has changed ownership multiple times before turning into Maybank Towers, which has been around for decades. We also see the Indian and Chinese coolies loading goods onto the bullock cart. I really like learning about these sculptures made by Singaporean artists. They bring vibrancy to the Singapore River and showcase its rich heritage. Activity time! In first generation, we see the boys playing with their friends in the river. Think about where you and your friends play and draw a picture. Singapore has a lot of public artworks that showcase valuable insights if you take a closer look. Stay tuned for another video highlighting
featuring more artworks along the Singapore River. Bye!